So this is a quick video on how to program voice within TouchChat Word Power. So you've downloaded TouchChat Word Power, it was downloaded to your loaner device, and you have um, a made a copy of the vocab, um, which is in a separate video. So now you want to choose the correct voice. The cool thing is, is that all um, both Spanish speaking and English speaking voices are free. Um, and there's no in-app purchase needed, which is a big deal because we're not allowed to make in-app purchases um, as an education service district. So everything is free. So this is really great for Spanish speakers. Um, to download a specific voice, you go up to the right-hand corner, the upper right-hand corner, and click on Menu. And then the fourth one down is Settings. I'm highlighting it right now. Click on Settings. You go past Profile, Navigation, and Page Size and also editing and you go to speech and you'll see voice the one I'm highlighting right now is the one you want to click on when you click on that one it'll give you a long list of different voices to choose from and you can listen to a lot of different voices there are some adult voices teen voices and, ch um, and child voices I really like um, the English speaker uh, feminine voice Ella I also really like the um, English speaking masculine voice, um, Josh, which is right here. And I also, and I also really like the voice Malik, um, which is an English speaking voice for Spanish speakers. The only voice I've tried so far is for a feminine voice and it's Valeria. That one's a really good one. And I know there's also a masculine voice. Um, but you'd have to kind of scan through to listen to a voice. You would click on this little um, blue button right next to the voice. For example, I'll listen to Valeria right now. And they always sound a little funky when you listen to them this way, but when you download them and use them, they sound more natural, which is really nice. So if you click on the blue button right next to Valeria. Hello, I'm Valeria, one of the high quality text to speech voices. Please go to the Upgrade Store now to purchase and download my voice. And it'll always say that, but you do not have to purchase this voice. Um, you will see right next to the blue button, there's a little cloud with an arrow pointing down. You want to click on that if you like the voice and want to download it. You do have to be connected to Wi-Fi, so make sure in your settings, um, your general iPad settings, that you've connected to the Wi-Fi either in your home or in the location that you're in right now. Otherwise, the voice will not download. So you click on the little green cloud right next to the voice, and you'll see that it little little download. It downloaded really quickly. Um, so now it's downloaded, and, and it's in my library. There's no cloud with an arrow anymore. So if you want to select that voice, you just click on the voice itself, and you'll see now the voice says Valeria Child, which is the feminine voice. Child's voice, usually I use this for Spanish-speaking um, people who want a feminine voice. And you can also adjust the rate and um, also you don't want them to go too fast, um, but you can always adjust that and see if you if the family likes that a little better. You can also adjust voice pitch. Sometimes pitches are super high and you want them a little lower. Sometimes they're low and you want them high. This is just the normal pitch. And um, that is how you set the voice. I would look through and see which voice sounds better, but usually I pick Malik or Josh for a masculine English speaker, Ella for a feminine English speaker, Valeria for a Spanish speaking um, feminine voice, and I haven't really explored the masculine um, Spanish speaking voice, so please explore that one. Thank you so much, and that is the end of this video.